Hey guys, Fleet Bear. Today I thought I'd bring you a small little program that I worked on for about half an hour early on. I was going through some of the requests I've had recently and uh, basically uh, someone mentioned that they wanted me to come up with some sort of, you know, they wanted to just see how what a virus looked like and how it worked. And I, I messaged them back saying that basically the what we've done before, if you go through some of my tutorials, you, you'll be able to do a virus very easily because in general they're not really difficult. Um, compared to the hacking we've previously done, ha um, making viruses is a piece of cake. Anyways, so instead I decided to make some sort of um, a little prank program that you can use against your friends and stuff, uh, maybe at college or school, whatever you go to, and uh, it can be quite annoying. Or you can email them the executable, they run it, and it will annoy them quite a bit. And basically, uh, this program, I really got to stop saying basically a lot because people point that out. Anyways, um, I'll try and avoid it. Uh, but um, the way it works is um, you double click it and it does a bunch of it's actually quite simple to run like um, it as you can see here this is all the code that you need so it's really simple really straightforward I'm sure most of you could come up with this um, you know just like I did really quick but I just wanted to, to be able to make you guys a little prank application you can use and for those of you that requested this kind of stuff here it is so um, as you know I don't have much time at the moment so I'm kind of feeling small requests and stuff like that and as soon as I've got some more time I'll get back into the um, game hacking uh, ESPs and all that good stuff anyways so what this does here I might as well just show you there's no point in me explaining because the comments do the whole explaining so I'm just gonna show you this um, running so have a look at this as you can see there I made a little movement I shouldn't have done wow what the F okay then guys so here it is again um, I I moved something around I shouldn't have but as you can see this is the thingy in action um, if you look on the screen you see the mouse moving really fast and what it's doing is to make sure the person can't close your window whatever you're doing to them so it's moving constantly all over the screen so there's nothing you can do you see I'm trying to move my mouse doesn't make a difference so um, and you can do things like if you press like I'm pressing the Windows key at the moment to bring my start menu up to do something. You can, if if I'm not going to do it, but if you bring it to all delete, um, I think Vista won't let you block that. But well, basically this isn't supposed to be harmful. So if you press the delete and end key at the same time, it kills it. So it's like a safe um, way of getting out of it. So all this is a very simple application, but it's fun because you can just put any site you want here and uh, it will go to that site and the person will have to so I put a fairly innocent site up well just a google search but you can go <laughs> for places like meatspin.com or if I'm not advertising this by any means uh, if you haven't been to it and you're under 18 or whatever do not go to it because it's quite bad <laughs> it's quite funny though but um, yeah so it is quite straightforward really straightforward program and I just wanted to show you guys this in action so I will show you it properly in action now I didn't show you the beeping sound earlier it's the only thing added to it but it is quite annoying uh, let's just get rid of this again so you can just put anything you want here put any bad link you like and then trick your friends into all you have to do is just um, put the exe so compile it get the exe put it on their thingy on their pen drive or whatever on their computer and then just run it and they can't do anything and by, probably by the time they've done something they've been caught already by your teacher or lecturer or whatever but don't, just don't use anything too bad or you can get in some serious trouble with this um, alright so I'm gonna run this quickly and where's the... alright so it's got the beep sound now so I won't talk over it look at that So as you can see that there, it is quite bad. I mean, I think the idea here, this whole thing is a trap. you got the beeping going, and your teacher or whatever will come up, and they'll be like, oh, what are you doing? And then they, they're trying to get rid of it. So it's really simple, but it is, it's quite funny. I mean, I, I'm going to try it myself this week, <laughs> see if it works and stuff. And hopefully none of them are watching this video right now. They won't find out that I'm going to trick some of them. But the beauty of this is such a simple application, and it can have it's got a lot of potential to trick people. Now... I only made this because I was requested by someone, so I wanted to get this out of the way so I can focus on more important stuff later on. Um, for those of you uh, that like my more difficult tutorials, I'm sorry about this, um, but I, I kind of I try to meet all the 
things that people ask me basically so, oh, I said it crap <coughs> and uh, I try and do what people ask me and uh, <coughs> excuse me and um, you know I want to make sure especially the simple stuff because I haven't got much free time at the moment I try and do that get out get that out of the way quickly and then I can get in more difficult stuff when I've got a little bit of time to spare um, so yeah this is pretty much done um, download it from the description all right um, if you haven't done anything to do with coding before at all guys so just grab something like dev c++ and copy and paste this into there um, that's all you need you don't actually need visual studio but um, just get and then just run it and it will work and then grab the debug file so i'll put the exe as well separate if you just want to run it but odds are you want to change this link so go for any link online you can go to google.com whatever you want just put it in here and uh, go for that alright guys i hope you enjoyed this small video i'll see you guys later